How you guys doing, huh? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just gonna go through your cars if I can. Oh! Can I lift you? Oh! No, I can't lift them! I was hoping we could lift them! Lift! Lift the vehicle! Get out the way! <laughs> oh, that's good. Welcome, everybody, to Demolish and Build Company 2017. I'm your host for the evening, the Birdman. Known as Falcon. As you can probably gather from the title alone, this is actually from the same developer as Giant Machines 2017. So apparently they're getting the leg up in the 2017 games because they have the monopoly for games of next year, it does seem. Um, this is very similar to Giant Machines as opposed to gathering supplies to send a spaceship into space, I guess. With this game, it's all about destruction and anarchy. You are essentially a demolition expert, and you go to different areas, and you just break shit, you destroy stuff, you blow stuff up, whatever needs to happen. Already, I'm enjoying this a lot more. This also has a weird little bit of an open sandbox type of feel to it. You literally have a map in different towns you could actually go to and pick different um, jobs to work at. So I'm already really impressed by this game, to be honest with you. So without further ado... Oh, I'm sorry. Am I holding up traffic? Is that what you're trying to tell me over here? Huh? Well, do you really want to anger a guy with a, apparently a club hammer over here in his hand? Because I could do this. No, I can't break your car? That's a bit unfortunate. Alright, anyway. Let's go over here and we have a job to do. Let me get on my car. As you can see, you actually drive from one area to the other one. It's actually very, very fun. I'm actually really impressed by this because I was not expecting this in this game. I thought it'd be like another Giant Machines type of game. But no, you actually have places to travel to and stuff like that. So we have discovered level 4 property... Um, I should note, I skipped the tutorial because, you know, it just teaches you how to play the game, so... This is our very first official mission, I want to say. So let's come over here and see what we have in store for us today. Some old huts are falling apart. We need to remove them before somebody gets hurt. Oh, I'm the perfect person to remove stuff, let me tell you. We'll accept this contract over here. The reward's gonna be a thousand. You get money and experience in this game. You actually get experience to level up different type of skills. And you and also open up different vehicles down the line. And then you use your money to buy tools and other vehicles as well. So, as I mentioned, it's got a really cool little open world aspect to it as well. Which is, you know, again, really surprising. So let's see what we have to do here today. Demolish the wooden huts and cut the tin walls with the abrasive saw. I have an abrasive saw. I actually bought that. There it is. You see that shit? Yeah. Okay. Well, first and foremost, I think we want to demolish those wooden huts first, right? So let's come over here and check this out. Once you unlock different vehicles, you'll be able to, like, you know, order them to wherever you need them to be at. So, for instance, I could come over here and be like, hey, you know what? For this job, I need a bulldozer. Somebody deliver it. You'll also be able to hire other workers, which I guess will help you out with different jobs. I don't know. It's actually really cool. I haven't gotten that far just yet. Here is my bulldozer. Alrighty. Um, I've turned off the music in-game just because of, you know, copyright purposes. So I'm not sure if um, the music in the game is copywritten, but I'm not going to take a chance with that. So, let's see over here. Demolish the huts over on this side. I could do that. And we could lift our little dude up. And down, yeah. Alright, let's come over here really quickly and get some demolishing done. Um, these little red markers, I don't think you could interact with that just yet. That'll probably be for like future missions and stuff like that. But for now, we want to just go ahead and crash through these huts, maybe? Oh my god, it does work that way! <laughs> Bring it down! And then you get money for every little piece of thing that you destroy, which is um, a little bit interesting to me, but... Um, I, I guess you could... You don't necessarily have to destroy everything in the area. There's like a little bit of a limit what you have to do. But anything else that you destroy on the fly will be extra money, which is, you know, always good for all the extra stuff you want to buy in the future over here. So let's bring this hut down. Oh, yeah, that's how you do it, baby. This is my sort of speed here. With giant machines, we're already there busy, like, you know, collecting stuff. Over here, you just destroy stuff, which is already something I really enjoy more often. Demolition and stuff like that, that's what I'm all about. Uh-oh. We're ruining our, our bulldozer, it does seem, though. We might have to get off of this and fix it pretty soon. We have a, a fixing tool, which lets us fix stuff on the fly. I know. I know. You destroy stuff and then you fix stuff, huh? How does that work? I don't know. But it does work. Demolition. Okay, bring bring this thing down. You cannot, you know, come on. You, you're, de you're defying the laws of gravity right now by just holding yourself up by one little piece of area there. Okay. More of these goddamn huts. Bring it all down! Might have to get off of my bulls really soon to fix that, but that's okay. Right now we have a job to do, which is to bring everything down over here. Yeah. And we accomplished that, alright. Let's go ahead and do a little spinny spin. The mouse sensitivity in the game is really, really high, so I, I've tried to, like, you know, tweak my mouse a little bit, the sensitivity, but there's no sensitivity function in the game, so I have to do it manually with my mouse and drivers and all that jazz. And I hate messing around with drivers, man. Okay. 
so that's been smashed down. Uh, I think we should probably get off of this vehicle and fix it here really quickly. No, we don't want to use the abrasive saw on that. Nor that. Here we go. So this is how you fix that. What's the durability at? Oh, it's right there in front of me. <laughs> Where's the durability at, he says. I don't know, Falcon. Maybe the number is in front of you that says durability one number out of a hundred, perhaps? Yeah, that would be it. So just like that, I have now fixed my bulldozer. And we could go back to smashing stuff, which is the fun part here. Oh, I see. The wall itself, not the, 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 the barrels. I think we might need the barrels for something else. I feel ya. Oops. Don't tell the boss about that. Technically speaking, I am the boss, though. Usually there's a guy that shows up and talks to you. And he better damn well know I'm the boss, not him. Alright, you got those walls down. Look at these textures right here, by the way, huh? Next-gen graphics all the way? Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> the game's already maxed out, you know? These games aren't really about graphics, though. It's all about just fucking destruction and anarchy. Your simulation needs of destroying stuff. I had this mission early on for the tutorial where I basically took that jackhammer that we saw that I had, and I just brought down pillars of stone over and over, and I was getting paid a lot of money for that, and I was wondering with myself, I was like, you know, is this really what um, construction workers get paid to destroy stuff? I mean, I think I just chose the wrong field, honestly. If people could tell me, Falcon, go back in time, and go towards construction because you get paid a lot of money to destroy stuff, I would have done that initially. But, you know, I think it's too late now for this bird to actually do that. So my contract is done. Let's press enter to finalize it. And we will finish this contract. Give me my money. Yeah. And we get that sweet little rock music over here, too. Where'd you go? I was really enjoying that. Okay. So, um, reward, destruction bonus, and that's the sum, and we got 75 experience as well. Alright, let's see what this actually opens up. I'm running blind with this game, guys, so just give me a little break here as I try to figure stuff out. We have an incoming call. This is my, my co-worker, I want to say. Your personal advisor, technically speaking. Now we need to buy a new machine if we want to stay ahead of the competition. You're damn right I wanted to stay ahead of the competition. If you need more cash, finish more contracts, there's a list available in the main menu. Check it out. Okay. So, new tutorial, Sharp Debris. What is that about? Sharp Debris will pierce your tires and damage the tracks. You can use the bulldozer shovel to remove them. Oh, I saw those, actually. There was a couple of those in that little mission we're at just now. Okay. Earn enough money to buy a skid loader. Check the map and contract list for details. And there's also a day and night system, mind you. As you can see in the upper right corner, this is uh, ticking up into morning time. And in the daytime, the game does look a lot more prettier because of the sun and the shadows and stuff like that. Okay, so um, let's see here. Let me go over to contracts. What do we have available? Uh, we need a company to demolish interior walls in one building and bulldoze the ruins of another building. Okay, let's get up here. Oh, I can see my field thing in the bottom right. Oh, okay, that would make sense. I was wondering what the hell that was earlier, but um, now it makes sense. Oh, really? We don't have enough... <laughs> we don't got enough torque in the engine to get up there? Well, that's a problem. Fine, let's go ahead and pick up some speed here first. I could go into first person as well. You guys let me know if you enjoy third person or first person mode. I'll go with first for now, just so we get a really feel for the inside of this vehicle. Man, this car is bitching from the inside. I haven't really seen it too often from the inside. I usually roll in uh, third person. Let me know, guys. Let me know what you guys uh, prefer, first or third. Fuck you, car! Eh, whatever. Okay, let's come over here. Oh, there's my skid loader. Yeah, ha ha, for sale. I definitely want to buy this. It costs four thousand. Oh, we have just barely enough to buy it, so we definitely will. Incoming call. Remember, you can equip the machines with different parts like a jackhammer and vehicles menu. I have a plan, but we need one more machine. You have a plan. What is this plan, dude? Why don't you tell me about this plan, huh? Anyway, earn enough money and buy a dump truck. Ooh, okay. So I think we got to go back to... Oh, no, no, no. Where is that? Oh, we have to buy the dump truck next, but I probably will not have enough money for that. So let me go to the contracts, and we want to go with, um... Where's this one at? Show this one on the map. You're in the industrial district, right? Which I don't think I've been here just yet. Have I? Oh, I I've been here before. Alrighty, guys, a little bit of a change of plans here. It turns out I was a bit mistaken. I do need to get the upgraded part that my colleague was talking about. I apparently need a, a jackhammer for the other mission that we unlocked, so we still can't do that one just yet. But for now, what we can do is go over to the other one, which is down over here. Um, excuse me, why are we driving the other way, Falcon? Like, if you have to go down there, why are you going the opposite direction now, you, you dingus? Anyway, yeah, we have to unlock the jackhammer part, which is an upgrade for the, um, the skid loader. So, 
That's what Homeboy was talking about. He just wasn't very clear about it. He told me he had a plan, but he didn't tell me what that plan was. See, that's what happens when you don't actually convey information properly to me. You're over here being like a meticulous, like some sort of like evil genius, like, oh, I got a plan. It's like, all right, what is it? I can't tell you just yet. It's like, all right, yeah, creeper. But, meanwhile, we can probably destroy a building here, and that's okay with me. So let's get off of this vehicle here. What do you got for me here, huh? What do you got? We had a company to demolish interior walls in one building and bulldoze the ruins of another building. I could do all that right now. <laughs> I will do it in spade. Destruction's the name of the game here. Okay, so, run over ruined walls and demolish interior walls. So, let's see where we want to start off with here, huh? Run over ruined walls. So these are the ones I have to run over, more than likely. And then interior-wise, we have to come in here and just break shit with my... my club. My sledgehammer over here. Okay. Oh, why am I stuck? Stop getting stuck. Alright, wait. Oh, yeah! Oh, that's the good stuff right there. Yeah! Okay. So we destroy all this here. Oh, destruction. It's great. Now, I'm not gonna try to destroy everything, mind you. I'll just get the tasks done. But again, remember that we actually do get more money for the more that we destroy it. And it does seem right now we have to get an upgrade for the skid loader. But maybe the game isn't really too much of a... a hard-on for like, hey, you gotta destroy everything and uh, min-max your money, I guess. Hopefully that's the case. We have to do 110 walls here, huh? And then we get over to the bulldozing, which is gonna be the fun part. Bring that ass down. Bring that ass down. Bring it all down! Is there like a best spot to hit this? Like maybe at the bottom of the wall so everything just comes crumbling down? Oh yeah, that's it, that's it. This is like, <laughs> this is like reverse Tetris, really. You wanna make sure that all the parts don't fit into the right pieces. You wanna bring them all down. Oh, just like that. Oh, you saw that? That one wall just brought everything down. That's how you do it. And then I guess when I get some more money, I just hang out over here and smash it up even more, huh? Well, maybe we can do that. Oh, you're not part of the equation, are you? Well, there we go. Okay. Excuse me. You must perish. You must perish as well. All right, so that's done. Now we gotta run over ruined walls. <laughs> now you're talking my game here. Let's see. Oh, am I blocking traffic again? Oh, do you guys don't like me blocking traffic? Oh, that sucks, because there's a man on a mission over here with a sledgehammer destroying stuff. Do you want to test me? Huh? Do you want to test me? I will smash your little nice little car here. Get get out of here. Okay, anyway. I'm done pestering those individuals. Let's uh, get my skid loader over here, I think. No, no, we need a bulldozer for this one. So, boom. Bulldozer. Yeah. How you guys doing, huh? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just going to go through your cars if I can. Oh. Can I lift you? Oh. No, I can't lift them. I was hoping we could lift them. Lift. Lift the vehicle. Get out the way. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. All righty. I, I, as I told you, I, already, I love this game a lot more than um, Giant Machines already. I really actually do enjoy this. Like, the open world function is actually kind of cool. I like the idea of just slowly building your company from scratch. And that's what you're doing with this game. You're building your company from scratch over here. Look, I'm so baller, I'm over here destroying walls with just my tracks alone. I don't even need the little, um, lift arm thing, I guess. Let's get some more speed here and just crash through. Bring it down. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're almost done with this one, too. Slop on around, and... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, what about you? Huh? I see you eyeing me like you want some of this, huh? I'm like AJ Styles. You don't want none. They don't want no. They don't want none. Contract's done. Fuck yeah. Give me my money, man. 800's my reward? Okay, that's not a lot of money, but sure. <laughs> so good. Alrighty. What do we get now? Should probably get a call here. No call. Where's my guy at? Hey, call me and tell me about stuff, huh? Anyway, earn enough money to buy a dump truck. No, I want to get the jackhammer first. What do we have for contracts here? Um, this one just requires a bulldozer. Reward a thousand. Alright, I want to find out about getting the jackhammer part for the skid loader. So I think we might have to go to a store for that. So, let me go ahead and wrap it up here for this one, guys. I'll come back for another episode and uh, I'll find out how to buy the jackhammer. And then we'll have that equip. And we'll go to the other mission and we'll just like hammer the floor down straight into the middle of the earth. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.